let us discuss the control hazards which happen due to a conditional branch instruction so here is a conditional branch instruction branch if r3 is equal to 0 to some target address so if this instruction is fetched it is decoded and computed the comparison will take place in the compute stage of this branch instruction in the meantime instruction ij plus 1 has already been fetched and it is in the decode stage if somehow we can bring the comparison part also to the decode stage we know that we have we have brought the computation of the target address we can bring in the decode stage by including a adder so the target address is being computed in the decode stage but if the comparison also can be done in the decode stage then at least we will not be having a penalty of two clock cycles in this case when we are computing the target address in decode stage as well as doing the comparison in the decode stage only i j plus 1 needs to be fetched this comparison can be done by including a comparator in the decode stage so the output of the register file can be straight away checked using the comparator and the decision can be made whether the branch will be taken or not taken if the branch is not taken then ij plus 1 will be executed if the branch is taken then we have to fetch the target address ik so in any case even if the branch has to be taken ij plus 1 has already been fetched so the that means that the instruction which immediately follows the branch instruction is always fetched and this location which follows a branch instruction is called the branch delay slot so if we have a branch instruction the instruction or the location which follows the branch instruction is called the branch delay slot and we know that whatever instruction is over here in the branch delay slot will always be fetched so now there is a possibility that this instruction will be discarded if we have to take the target address and it will be executed if we don't have to branch out so rather than conditionally discard this instruction in the delay slot can we have the pipeline or the hardware put one instruction in this branch delay slot which will always be executed since we know that this instruction will always be fetched can we put some instruction in this branch delay slot which will always be executed so here if we look at this program this is the branch instruction and this is the branch delay slot which is currently having ij plus 1 this ij plus 1 instruction will always be fetched but it will be conditionally executed so rather than having ij plus 1 one instruction which we know will always be executed is add r7 r8 r9 an instruction which is just preceding the branch instruction so if we keep this instruction just below this branch instruction that means we are going to keep this instruction which is necessarily going to be executed in the branch delay slot then we do not have to discard ij plus 1 how will the pipeline work in that case so if this is the branch instruction fetch decode compute and so on memory and write back now we have put the add instruction over here in the branch delay slot depending upon 
the comparison that happens over here the testing of the condition which takes place in the decode stage which is at the end of this clock cycle so here depending upon this condition the next instruction can be brought over here now we do not have to flush out this add instruction in the meantime while this instruction is being fetched this can be executed in the pipeline too by going through the various five stages or whatever are the number of stages in the pipeline so this kind of a delay in the branching it takes place one instruction later now depending upon the condition over here either ij plus 1 will be fetched or the target address instruction will be fetched so this technique where the branching branching is taking place one instruction later this is called delayed branching though logically it will run the program will run in this manner only but the compiler has reordered the instructions in such a way that one of the useful instruction which is always going to be executed has been placed in the branch delay slot